Well, here we are um, at Eurosonic in Groningen. Music meets tech. We are really scratching the tentacles of the future. And we have somebody here today who is really right at the very forefront of something new, something amazing, and something that is really changing the way that we experience music and music and visual experiences. We'd like to welcome Avinash Changa. Avinash, welcome. Hi, it's good to be here. So, Avinash, you three years ago started your company called We Make VR. We Make VR. VR com. being virtual reality? Virtual reality, okay, which we is not make augmented VR. reality. We make VR.com. So, augmented reality and virtual reality are two very different things, so let's separate that. Okay, so let's just explain to the audience that's watching this, plus the hundreds that are here in Groningen at Eurosonic, what the difference is between augmented reality and the work that you focused on for the last three years of virtual reality. Augmented reality is technology similar to Google Glass. You perceive the world through a headset and you get an initial layer of information on top of that. So you can look at a street sign and you would see the translation. With virtual reality, you are immersed in a world that does not exist, that is completely fictional in this case. So you wear these, gla these glasses and you believe, truly believe that you, for example, are standing on stage with the London Symphony Orchestra or you're part of the audience. So you can look around, you can look up, down, around you, behind you, and it feels real. The big difference with virtual reality is, compared to cinema, for example, the, the part of the brain that's activated when you look at a screen right. is different from the part of the brain that's activated when you experience VR. When you experience VR, you create new memories, you create emotions. So the stereoscopic technology that you use yes. is something that you created. I invented uh, one of the first stereoscopic 360 by 360 degrees cameras for VR capture three years ago. VR capture, so explain to us, tell us about what the company does and tell us how you go about it? Well, we make VR, we develop technology, but that's not what we are about. We create stories, we create experiences. We are called a VR experience company. So that we developed camera technology to capture the world around us is great, but it's way more important to think about how do you apply it. And that's what we do on a daily basis. So VR as an industry is such a broad thing, it's like the early days of the internet. Exactly. So what we do, with applying it, we develop different verticals. Now today, I'll tell you about our uh, vertical called we make, we make VR Music. In that vertical, we generate new value for the music industry. How do you do that? Let's say you are a, a successful artist and you sell out the Paradiso here in Amsterdam, or in Amsterdam. You sell 1,200 tickets. All right. Through virtual reality, we make it possible to have millions of people experience what it's like to have the best seat in the house or even be on stage with their favorite artist. And we can do that in real time or pre-recorded by placing our camera technology in there and creating a story around it. So suddenly, you as an artist have already invested in producing this show and you can suddenly communicate that show to millions of fans all over the world. So you can sell beyond the capacity of the venue. And that's just one example. Because in this case, what we can also do Let's say you go online, you go to Ticketmaster and you buy your ticket to a new concert at Ma in Madison Square Garden. You then get an option, for example, to pay 10 euros, $10 extra. Two weeks before the concert, you get this link and you can install some software in your mobile phone which will suddenly place you in the home studio of the artist who will talk to you, bid you welcome, say, I'll see you in two weeks in Madison Square Garden. Here are a few bars of my next song. Right. Then you go to the concert, you have a great experience. Two weeks after the concert, you can actually relive that concert from a better spot in the audience or on stage or backstage and maybe even hang out with the artist after the show. Now this is an experience that adds to the already live experience and it's a way for new fans to, to meet and to sort of experience what it's like to be at a, a new print show, for example. So I'm gonna explain this to me. There's been a lot of talk and action from uh, Oculus, Yes. Obviously acquired by Facebook. Absolutely. Uh, Samsung that developed uh, the Gear their VR. own, uh, just about to release a whole new version of their VR uh, device. Yes. And then uh, there's even been the cardboard devices that are obviously allow a very cheap version of that. And um, just this week in California, last week I saw a very interesting new form, of almost looking like fashion sunglasses, but also with a VR component. Uh, that also allows media to be read, printed media, within the glasses. So um, I see that you've got a, an example of um, 
an Oculus type of uh, device. Yes, the yeah, Gear VR. Show this up at VR. Here we are. Um, how many companies are actually making the devices, and what do you think the lag is between consumers getting it, your material being utilized, and you being able to uh, know that someone's going to be seeing your VR product through these uh, these well, new contraptions? Well, here's the thing. Um, you already mentioned uh, Cardboard, for example. We've created an app that will turn every mobile phone wow. into a VR virtual reality consumption device. Wow. So How? suddenly, we're not talking to a handful of people that invest in a Oculus or right. in a Gear VR, right. but we're talking to every single person that so, has a smartphone. And this would be on iOS and Android? iOS and Android. Wow. So suddenly, we're talking scale. Right. And here's the business model. Let's say we, in this case, we can do this right now. We would film a show, uh, a concert. Right. You can actually go into our app right now and um, download this content, experience it for free. So down the line, we will sell this at iTunes type uh, uh, price models, 99 cents, $1.99, $2.99, and you can experience all these concerts. So that's a new revenue so stream for artists. Take me through how I can experience that on, let's say, my iPhone 6 or my uh, Samsung S6. How would that physically work? Simple. You go to the App Store, you right. type in We Share VR. We Share VR, we share okay. VR. This opens an app on your smartphone, yeah. and there you see a list of different pieces of uh, music content. Right. You tap on the content, and it'll play in a 360 environment. I can actually show that to you I'll right Show that now. to the camera over there. So, here's my phone. Let's see, there we go. Here's the app, we tap the app, and here's a list of music content. So we tap the content, in this case, we'll put you on stage at the Voice of Holland, right. where you'll sit be be behind the judges, or between the judges, actually. So, in order to make this work properly, I'm going to hand this to you. You grab the phone. Now, turn it around. You can actually look behind you, physically. Oh, I see, right. So you oh, can look yeah, above yeah, yeah. and below. Yeah. That's giving me a good 360 degree view without me having to wear something clunky on my exactly. face. Exactly. Brilliant. So, suddenly, this Just is scalable. Point it to that camera and let's show our audience. You might not so, be able to see the 360 that, view, but... The 360 view is, of course, a bit tricky to see in a 2D environment like this, but we'll give it a shot. So as you can see, here we are backstage with a band called Kensington, and if you move the phone around, you can actually look. And, oh, here we see one of the judges, and if we look that way, let's see if the phone can pick, pick, pick it up, then suddenly we're sitting next to Ilse Delange, as if you're one of the judges. So, scale. Scale is important. Scale is very important. We can create the content. We've proven the content. The technology has been rolled out. And we are actually already doing this and generating turnover. We've worked with the London Symphony Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic. We've worked with uh, hip hop artists. We've worked with The Voice. So right now, we're at the stage where we say, we want to partner up. We offer musicians, labels, and owners of music distribution platforms um, a new way to make uh, to make revenue. So we are looking for owners of distribution rights. Let's say you own the rights to the next Katy Perry tour. We will go on tour with Katy Perry and create the most amazing tour experience that people haven't even So considered. you're looking to connect with artist managers, artist with agents, managers. with the representatives of talent. Exactly, um, but also the distribution platforms. Right. Because that's the thing. Everyone now is trying to be the YouTube of VR. What you'll see in reality that there's going to be a number of content aggregators. The smart thing is, since we create our own technology and license our own content, we can license our content to each and every platform out there. Where are you based, Avinash? Uh, our main office is based in, uh, here in Amsterdam, or there in Amsterdam. Right. We have a small front office in London, and we have a post-production division in Portugal. So, and we aim to go to the States, to New York, Q3 this year. So this also is something that uh, has got value for music linked into brands and products. Exactly. I mean, it's a whole new world. It's a completely new world. But it's accessible VR. It's accessible VR. You don't need all these clunky devices, although the devices will make it more immersive. We can make it low threshold simply by accessing your mobile phone. So if someone wants to know about you and we make VR, how do they get in touch with you? Where do they go? What do they do? They go to wemakevr.com. WeMakeVR.com. Or they contact us on Twitter, at WeMakeVR. At WeMakeVR. Exactly. Or they go to Facebook, facebook.com slash WeMakeVR. 
on all these platforms, you can reach us, and we are opening the door to these content owners. Come to us, approach us, and we will generate new revenue and new value for you. Avinash Changa, you are really scratching the tentacles of the future. Thanks for coming in. Great work from We Make VR. Happy to be here. Good. Thank you.